Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to do the division using the Dvajanka method in Vedic Maths. So basically, Dvajanka is on the flag. The meaning of this particular sutra is on the flag. And this can be performed for any divisor which are having two digits or three digits. Okay, let's just try these three sums using this particular sutra and divide. The first question 249 divided by 81. So let me show you how we have to write this first. So you're going to draw something like this and then write the divisor 8 and this one should be taken as the power of 8. So that becomes the Dvajank and this becomes the Mukyank. That is on the flag concept. And now we are going to write 249 with, which is the dividend leaving a little space between each. Now the number of Dwajank decides the number of splits we should do leaving the right hand side number. So there is one number and I always split like this. It is always to better to keep one digit as the Dwajank. If we keep two digit as the Dwajank, the procedure will completely change. So it's always better to keep one digit as the Dwajank whether it's a three digit or a two digit number. This is the way how we write first. Now let's start solving. So 8, how many times is 24? 8 threes are is 24. The remainder left will be 0. Now with this Dvajank, I have to multiply this quotient. 3 ones are is 3. I'm going to take 3 and I have to minus this. 9 minus 3 is 6. Now this is the new dividend. Now, when I divide 6 divided by 8, 8 zeros are a 0 and the remainder will be 6. So, if I have a 0 here, I'll put it as 6. And then, this 0 into 1 is 0. So, again, the new dividend is 60. How many times of 8 is 60? So, 8 sevens are is 56. So, I can take it as sevens are 56. So there is 4 remainder, so I'm going to take it as 4. Next, then, seven, 1 7 jar is 7. I'm going to take 7 here, then I'll have 33. Then I'm going to again divide this, so it'll go on. Now my answer is 3.07. This is my answer. How do we decide upon this decimal is, once the number, whatever number comes after the split, it is the decimal place. So ideally my answer to this particular question 249 divided by 81 is 3.07. The second question 748 divided by 192. Even we are uh, going to write it the same way. We'll take 19 and to the power 2 that is 192 and 748 with a little space. Since one digit is in the Dwajank, I'm going to split this number in such a way that the right hand side will have single digit. Now, let me start solving it. 19, how many times is 74? So, if I take 19 fours are, 19 fours are is 76. So, I can take 19 threes are. 19 threes are is 57. So, it is 74 minus 57. 7 and 17. Now I have 17. I'm going to take the 17 here. That is the remainder. 17. It is 178 now. Now 19. Uh, I have to multiply these two. 3 2s are 6. 178 minus 6 is 172. Now this is the new dividend. 19 goes how many times to get 172? So if we do 19 9s are, it's 171. So if I take 9s are, 19 9s are 171, 1 will be the remainder. So if I have 0 and if I put 1, it will be 10. Now 9 2s are is 18. So if I take 18, I'll get a negative number. So if I do 18, I'm going to get a negative number. So what I'll do is, I'm going to decrease this by 1. In that case, I have to just take one number less. So it is 19 into 8. Okay. 
152. So 120, uh, 172 minus 152 is nothing but 20. So I'll have 20 here. 20 as the remainder. So here I'm going to take it as 8. Now 8 twos are it is 16. So 200 minus 16. It will be 1, 8 and 4. Now I have 184. I have to see how many times will 19 go with 184. So 90, 99 zero is 171. So it is 184 minus 171. It will be 13. So this again if I put it here as 13 remainder then it will just continue. So I can write my final answer as 3.89. So as I told you, any number after this split will be in the decimal place. So it is 3.89. The third sum, 1905 divided by 375. So we are going to write it the same way. It is 1905. And I'm still going to take 1 in the Dwajank. So it will be 37 to the power 5. So I have one Dwajank. I'm going to leave one number for, uh, in the right hand side. I'm going to put a split. Now 37 into 5. 37 into 5. So it will be 185. So I can take 5 Zaras 185. So I'll be left with 5. So I'm going to put this as the remainder. 5 5 are is 25. I'm going to take 25 here. And when I minus this 55 minus 25, it is 30. Now I can see that 37 is larger than 30. 30 is a dividend and this is the divisor and which is this is smaller than that. So I can take it as 37. 0 times is 0. So the remainder left will be 30. So I have 30. I have taken it as the remainder here. Now 5 zeros are is 0 again. Now again I am going to take this 300 as it is. Now I have 300. So how many times will 370, uh, so 370, sorry 37 tens are is 370. So let's try with uh, 8 or 7. So first we will try with 8. So it is 37 into 8. 7 is 56. 29. 296. So 296 is very near to 300. So I can take 30 a, 37 8s are is 296. So the next number that's going to be formed will be having the having 4 as the remainder. So it will be 40. Then I'm going to do 8 5s are 40. And then 0. And it will continue. So you will have a stop to the decimal place. So finally I can write the answer as 5.08. I can just stop it to two decimal places. I hope this video was helpful. I know that there are many videos which shows you Dwajank. I thought my method of showing you would be helpful. So I have made this video. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. Only your subscription will motivate me to do more videos. Thank you. See you all in the next video.